aloe plants are easy to grow and won't affect your daily free time. Anyone with a brown thumb can easily get an aloe vera pot for their office window. However, inexperienced plant lovers can give the plant more attention than it needs, leading to more trouble. Aloe plant's natural form. Aloe vera has thick, almost sword-like leaves, broader at the base, and thin out in length. The edges are finished with small sharp teeth, giving out the fact that the aloe is succulent. The aloe leaves are filled with a thick gel, making them relatively heavy. But the heaviness is rarely the reason for an aloe plant falling over. If the leaves are droopy instead of perky, there is another underlying issue. Why is my aloe plant drooping? When you're someone with limited gardening experience, it's not uncommon to forget your plants or go overboard with caring. It might require a little inspection on your side to find which of these apply to your plant. Watering Problems The ideal watering schedule for aloe is once a week or when the top two inches of the soil are completely dry. There are several aloe species, with aloe vera being the most common houseplant. It has thick, almost sword-like leaves, broader at the base, and thin out in length. The edges are finished with small sharp teeth, giving out the fact that the aloe is succulent. The aloe leaves are filled with a thick gel, making them relatively heavy. But the heaviness is rarely the reason for an aloe plant falling over. If the leaves are droopy instead of perky, there is another underlying issue. Insufficient light. Aloe left in the dark can develop runny leaves or completely stop growing. On the other hand, exposing the aloe to too much sunlight can cause burns. Each day expose the pot to more and more sunlight. Optimally, aim for at least 6 hours of indirect bright sunlight. Continuous lack of light will lead to the leaf of the aloe plant falling over. Temperature shock. Common aloe vera is fragile below 55 degree Fahrenheit. Exposing it to a cold temperature can cause the gel in the leaves to freeze. As it defrosts, the leaves will droop. Keep the thermometer inside between 60 degree Fahrenheit and 70 degree Fahrenheit. If you need to move the plant to a different location, slowly introduce it to the change to avoid a temperature shock. Pot size. As the aloe grows, the roots develop and the pot becomes insufficient. The amount of soil no longer provides the necessary nutrients and the space strains the development. As a rule of thumb, always pick a pot in which the roots fill up two-thirds. Then, transplant it once a year to avoid the aloe plant falling over. Pests Aphids are the number one pest that loves to feed on aloe leaves. They such as on the gel, depriving the leaves of moisture and resulting in the aloe plant falling over. A healthy aloe rarely suffers from an attack of aphids. But an already fragile plant that's suffered over watering or other stress, it's the perfect target for these pests. Inspect the leaves for dark bumps and black mold. Introduce some ladybugs to your plant or use a safe pesticide to remove the aphids. Diseases that cause aloe plants to droop. Aloe is a hardy plant, but it can suffer root damage and fungal disease. Root rot results from overwatering or poor drainage and often leads to soft, mushy roots. As a result, the roots no longer transfer food and moisture to the leaves, which wilt and fall over. The fungal disease includes aloe rust. This disease causes spots on the leaves, often black, yellow, or paler. On the underside of the leaf, you might notice spores. Affected leaves usually lead to the whole aloe plant falling over. Why a top-heavy aloe plant tips over? If your aloe has grown so much that it tips over, you're doing an extraordinary job. However, there are a few steps to consider to keep it healthy and thriving. Remove the old heavy leaves from the outer side. Store them or extract the gel for external use. Do this with a sterilized knife and cut near the base of the plant. Transplant the aloe into a bigger pot. If you live in USDA hardiness zones 9 to 12, transfer the plant into your garden. The big aloe will thrive in the new soil. When living in a small space, check the plant for aloe pups. They should be in the soil near the base. Pick the baby plants and discard the old plant.
or, better, gift it to a friend. Conclusion An aloe plant falling over is a site of oversights and care. Stick to the recommended watering schedule except for when your plant is under intense sunlight most of the day. Check for pests and diseases. Ensure a suitable sized pot with good drainage. Too much moisture helps fungus develop quickly and attack your plant. A top-heavy plant can also cause an aloe plant to fall over. Trim your aloe regularly and transplant once a year. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.